Hello viewers. Maharashtra is one of the most progressive states in India. And behind all its economic, financial prosperity, power sector plays the most critical role. And today we are at Maharashtra Power Conclave 2024 being organized by IMA in the city of Mumbai, which is financial capital of India. Now I'll be talking to a few of the most powerful voices of Indian power sector who will be telling you how the power sector is going to power the most powerful state of India. Maharashtra is the backbone of the power sector. Uh, after PGCIL, our uh, Maharashtra State University Board, right. which was formerly known, hmm. it is now MSCDCL, MSCDCL right. and MSPGCL. Hmm. These three companies play a major role right. in uh, power development now. Right. So, uh, gen in generation also, they have uh, bidded for the new solar plants. Hmm. They are having uh, floating solar plants now. Right. They are going ahead uh, with the solar energies now, hmm. renewable energies now. So, uh, generation is moving ahead uh, with the uh, new training uh, trains now. Right. Uh, as I have explained, uh, transmission also. Right. And in distribution, RDSS scheme is uh, now going on. Mm. Uh, smart meter uh, we are adopting here. Uh, uh, there is SAPDRP system also. Right. So uh, these uh, Pantapadan uh, Suryachul uh, right. right now also. Uh, we are having MSKVY now. Right. It's a rigorous plan. Mm. 9500 megawatt uh, is being put in this uh, system uh, with the help of uh, MSKVY. Right. And another advantage is that uh, due to this distributed generation, right. uh, our losses will reduce. Right. This distribution generation will cater the local load. Right. Uh, so it will uh, our transmission line loading will be reduced, right. and uh, yeah, then effectively the losses will be reduced. Right. In Maharashtra, in terms of economy wise, we know that Maharashtra became the first state to complete the 0.5 trillion dollar level and a half a trillion dollar economy. So in terms of India's economy, Maharashtra plays a vital role. When as a country is also thinking that within three years, we should be a five-year economy, so Maharashtra will be one year in the economy. So any economy when it grows, the power is the most essential thing. And uh, Maharashtra is doing very good as Vishwas Patak told just now. When they are coming with a lot of new issues in the release of their families, I think so Maharashtra will change in terms of and making losses and energy and we as a Mumbai people, we never face any electric power. See, Maharashtra is the second biggest market for us. Though we have a Gujarat is our biggest market uh, and Maharashtra is second biggest market for us. Maharashtra is a priority for us. Uh, the transition is happening in, in many terms. A lot of renewables are coming up. And to respond to those renewables, to accommodate all those renewables and give us sustainable uh, power to the people of Maharashtra, we already have planned uh, a big transition plan. The energy transition plan has been planned as far as uh, transmission is. But I am also aware that all the three uh, state government entities, the DCL, the TCL, as well as the JNCO, have created a big transition plan looking at the horizon of 2030 so that we accommodate more and more of the green power and uh, make this transition more sustainable and deliver power to the people of Maharashtra. See, there are three key drivers why this change is happening. One is the environment side impact. Second is the technology side impact. And third is the data side impact. Right. So to govern and bring in all the flexibility into the grid and to know more about the grid, all the uh, data, adoption of all the data technologies and uh, every, at each point of the grid, a lot of data is being generated right now. Right. That data is useful to create new insights into the grid operation new insights for future planning. So I see the transition of generation side, simultaneously there is a transition moving also on the data side. So Maharashtra currently at half a trillion dollar economy, due to rise to one trillion dollar economy. And of course, the major input is going to be power. Currently, they have used various schemes by the central government like APDRP, like Sauvagya, and currently they are using RDSS as one of the key infrastructure development. 
But the most important thing that is going to happen is after having improved the in power line infrastructure, what is important is the quality of the grid uh, supply. And that is going to happen because of the smart solutions. Right. And that is the focus of this conclave. How are we going to leverage technology to improve the supply right. and reduce the ATNC losses? Right. The electrical in, uh, industry per se is growing at a rapid pace. Uh, in fact, uh, if we heard uh, the opening remarks, it's going to grow to 5x. Right. The only worry here is uh, the spurious and uh, cheap quality goods coming from out of Maharashtra. Uh, government of Maharashtra must take some initiatives to promote industries in Maharashtra wherein they are given the priority. Yeah, actually um, this particular conclave which we are organizing are very very important. The idea conceived mainly because Maharashtra is taking lot of lead in energy producing, distribution, transmission, every sector. Right. And especially the three companies in Maharashtra, particularly the, dis the generation, transmission and distribution, they already had a lot of reforms. Right. And as far as the generation is concerned and the transmission is concerned, on transmission side, we are already rolling the asset management, indexing of the asset. This is a very massive project, which they are doing it to identify the substation assets healthiness. So that we are doing, but the distribution segment is a very, very important from perception of last mile. Right. Because discoms are going to reach to the last mile where consumer is there. So that is what is doing and this conclave is just to give the idea to the delegates that how the industry is thinking and how they can correlate with every aspect. We need all type of energy even if we have to grow at a 4%, just 4%, right. but we need a 24 by 7. The access is important and the cost is important. Okay. These are the two things which we need to ensure so that we are, whether, whether it's a sort of a power or uh, renewable energy we are talking about or the hydrogen, okay? So hydrogen is going to be one of the, I would say the entrant uh, into the energy mix of Maharashtra as well as India right. and uh, we will see that some of the bottom of the pyramid hydrogen consumers there are already mm. big number of hydrogen consumers semiconductors right. uh, for that matter for you have pharmaceuticals Pharmacy. chemicals right. petrochemicals right. so they use the hydrogen. hydrogen so they will start consuming more and more right. green hydrogen right. and that's when we see right. a transition Right. towards a newer fuel right. like green hydrogen right. and then uh, the hard to abate hard. sectors which are steel or mobility. Right. So on the preparedness side I would rate uh, the good start has happened with government of Maharashtra releasing right. their hydrogen policy right. okay and in that hydrogen policy it talked about incentivizing uh, the capex for the transportation uh, part of it incentivizing storage distribution they talked about uh, uh, subsidies uh, for that matter. So I must say the good start is uh, half done. We need to carry on with the more and more smaller size projects, okay, and which can be seen in the uh, state bodies, which can be seen in the the education premises, and. Then, we see more so on the industrial side. See, uh, there are a lot of uh, developments are coming up now. Right. Actually, uh, as I am just seeing these products which are being used for, by the mm -hmm. MSCDCL or the TCL, it's a, there's a, a great uh, paradigm shift I've ever seen. It's a, a lot of uh, developments and new products are coming up in the requirements. So like I, uh, I take a few names like uh, uh, the covered conductors or the aerial bunch cables and also uh, 
under the RDSS schemes, the power cable of 33 kilovolt and the 11 kilovolt cables. That's a lot of uh, buying and uh, the infrastructure development is there. Polycap is an integral partner of MSC DCL, not now. It's, a, it's been since long time. Right. Actually, see, we, we, uh, we are the approved supplier list in the case of the IT, HD and the MV and EHV cable also. And we see a lot of um, the contribution from the Polycap to the Maharashtra state. Uh, as, as rightly said, Maharashtra is the most progressive state uh, across uh, India, I would say. Right. Especially in case of uh, power. As per my experience, I have seen that the decisions, the strong techno-commercial decisions which Maharashtra government as well as the companies like Tata Power, Adani, Power, they have taken for Maharashtra are quite astonishing. And they are going really uh, womingly into the renewables, which I can see, and they have a huge potential. Huge potential for renewables here. Right. So that's why we are also here, and we can support uh, these companies, Maharashtra Power, so that they can eat green initiative oils like ester oils they can make their assets fire safe e these are eco-friendly products so it goes into the sustainability there hello friends if you enjoyed watching this video please like comment share and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content